Hey guys, I'm excited to come to you today with my latest shoe obsession, and that is All Birds. So if you've been watching my channel, you might have found my videos on my Rothy's shoes. I have quite a little collection of Rothy's of all different types, flats, sneakers, lace-up sneakers, um, point toe shoes. So I've, I've gotten a little bit of a selection of Rothy's. I'm pretty familiar with them and they're made of, you know, recycled marine plastic and they're all about being sustainable and they have different limited edition things that come out. And I felt like there was a lot of overlap between the Rothy's community and the Allbirds community. So Allbirds similarly are like sustainable shoes. Um, they're more on the casual side. They seem to most focus on like sneaker styles um, but they uh, similar to Rothy's are all about being sustainable they have like many different colors many different limited editions of things but the difference with the Allbirds is they're not so much made of recycled plastic as they are made of like plant-based materials so before I get into it, I just want to let you know I do have a referral link. I'll put a link down below and it should give you $15 off your first Allbirds purchase. So if you're interested in trying them out, don't pay full price. Use the link and save a little bit of money. Um, they also seem to have a lot of items on sale as different colors retire and stuff. So you can look for some sale items as well. So if you look on their website, they have a lot of articles about using like regenerative practices, doing carbon offsets. I did just want to read to you um, this section about their renewable materials because they do use, like I said, a lot of um, plant-based materials. So they have written, we've always sought to replace petroleum-based synthetic materials with natural alternatives whenever we can. When we haven't found suitable alternatives, we've either invented our own, like our our sweet foam, our shoe sole material derived from the world's first carbon negative green EVA, or invested in novel solutions like plant leather, our 100% natural plant-based leather. So that's really interesting because if you do go look at their products, you know, they just appear to be plastic or rubber or leather components and so they really are all plant-based or renewable. So like I said, I've been interested in this brand for a while and then an Allbirds store actually opened near me so I was able to go check them out because I've kind of been burned <laughs> by Rothy's now uh, with their just like generally inconsistent sizing and there's like a whole theory about how much you should size up in Rothy's and stuff. So I just wanted to try them on in person and see if I even like them. I was looking uh, primarily for a new pair of just black kind of everyday like walking around sneakers like if I was going you know on vacation and was going to be doing a lot of walking not for like exercising but just kind of like fashion sneakers um my previous pair got pretty much trashed last summer uh in the rain so I was looking to replace them so they have a number of different styles of sneakers but I ended up going with the Allbirds Tree Runners I think these are probably like one of their first original styles um and they're just as you can see, just a very basic sneaker. Like I mentioned, you know, it looks like they're rubber, but I guess it's a sustainable or renewable material. Um, the inside is kind of fleecy, woolly. They also use a lot of wool, um, but the uh, material part of it, actually, I have this saved here too, because it's actually made of eucalyptus fiber, um, which is really interesting. And one of the main selling points for me was um, I do have orthotics that I insert into my sneakers or any shoes that I'm going to be doing a lot of walking in and so these did have removable insoles so I actually don't have them in here right now um, but when I take them out it's um, the perfect amount of space for me to add my orthotics and then they just become the perfect sneakers. They are so lightweight. I actually, um, when I was getting rid of my other sneakers that I was retiring, I picked them up and I was like, oh, these were so lightweight though, it'll be a shame. And then I picked these up and they're even lighter. So they're super, super lightweight. Um, the, the material, because it's like just a kind of a woven fabric, it's like very breathable. Um, the laces are like the one thing I'm not a huge fan of. They're just like a round, I don't know, usually sneaker laces I feel like are flat lace and these are round so I don't know necessarily how well they'll do for like really staying tied. I have worn them out 
um, a couple times for like a relatively large amount of walking and I guess you know I guess they've been okay um, but just the laces are like kind of strange to me but that's really the only thing and I'm sure you could swap out shoelaces easily if you want so I am really happy with these I actually have my eye on another pair of sneakers unfortunately I just replaced my actual like exercise sneakers but next time I need to replace those there's a little bit more like athletic style that all birds has and you know if I get a pair of those of course I'll come and do a full review of them but anyway I got the sneakers I was super super happy with them um, you know perfect for what I was looking for So then I was poking around to see what else Allbirds offered. They do have a slip-on sneaker that's kind of similar in style to the Rothy's slip-on sneaker, which I love. Um, but they also have the Tree Breezers, which I, again, tried on in the store, found them extremely comfortable, so I went ahead and got a pair. And these are pretty much their only style of flats. Like I said, they're more focused on like the casual sneaker type shoes. So this is probably like the most formal shoe that you will find from them. Um, again, they're they're made of that tree material, it's eucalyptus, and they are just so comfortable. So they come in a million colors. What actually attracted me to them was they had this really pretty turquoise color, um, which was retiring and it was on sale, but in the end, I went with the basic black. Um, I have been wearing these to work all week, so <laughs> they're definitely comfortable. They go with a lot of stuff. They're one of those things that, you know, you could dress them up or down. Probably, um, again, they're like a little more on the casual side the um you know the toe shape is like a little more of a rounded or squared um toe and they are you know they're they look like they're made out of a piece of fabric um they do also have the removable insole and you can see it has some some height to it some thickness um unlike you know the i hate keeping <laughs> comparing them to rothy's but unlike the rothy's insoles that are really just a flat piece of material these do have like a little bit of support to them at the heel end and i think that um that makes them a little bit more comfortable that there is a little bit of like squish to them um but they're just you know stretchy and breathable and they look cute and they're very comfortable for walking around or sitting or whatever you need to do so um i'm really happy that i did pick up a pair of these and um i might go back for another pair um i will say with all of the shoes that i tried on um my regular street size seemed to be the correct size even with you know the orthotics once i took out the uh the insert street size fit perfect um i know there's some discussion about like especially with this style i had heard you know it might run small and maybe you might want to go up half a size and that's why i did go to the store to try these on and i did go with my street size i could see going up half a size and if i get another pair or i go to the store again i might try out you know both my street size and half a size up these are totally comfortable like i said i've been wearing them all week um but i could see possibly going up a little bit i don't know if it would be more or less comfortable to do that they're totally doable in my street size And then just like Rothy's, these shoes are all machine washable. So I have never machine washed my Rothy's. I have spot cleaned them. Um, so I'll probably treat these the same way and so, unless something really horrible happens to them. Um, but you know, it's just nice to know that they are washable. And again, you know, considering my previous pair of sneakers, I'm retiring because they just got wrecked in the rain. Um, it's nice to know that if something similar happens with these, uh, that's not gonna destroy them because they're, they're meant to get fully wet and washed so that was another selling point for me so overall i'm super happy with these all birds i just wanted to share um again you know i feel like there is some overlap between the rothies and the all birds communities but the all birds community just seems 
it's smaller or less vocal or something because you know I'm a member of a couple of Rothy's groups on Facebook and I joined an Allbirds group I joined the, the biggest Allbirds group that there is and there's very little activity there it's mostly just people like trying to buy and sell shoes so it doesn't seem like it's such an active community as far as like getting advice on sizing or colors or such but there is a little bit of a community out there um, I've actually heard that you know Allbirds has been in the news relatively recently for maybe not performing that well business wise so hopefully they stick around because I'm really liking them and I'm really happy with the products. <laughs>